Hello friends, uh, in previous video we have seen how to use the simple CLI application in Weka. In this video we are going to discuss about how to use the knowledge flow application in Weka. So to use the knowledge flow application click on this, a new window will appear. Now this is the GUI of knowledge flow, this is the interactive GUI where you can on the left hand side of this window you can find there are different components of knowledge flow environment, data source, data sync, filter, classifier, clusterer, association, evaluation and visualization. So a Weka knowledge flow environment has a different layout classifiers and it is an interactive environment, it is an interactive data processing environment where a user can create a pictorial representation of a classification model. Okay. So to start with, so to use or to load any data set file, you can go to the data source tab, click on this ARFF loader. We need different evaluation parameters, different components of evaluation like a class assigner, so which will assign a classification method, the role of this component is to assign a classification method to a given data set file. Okay. So to import the data set, I will click on the configure button, browse, go to the data set file and I will select the iris data set. Okay. Click on OK. Fine. And then connect this data set, connect this instance to a cla class assigner. Now we need one more component from the evaluation tab that is a cross validation fold. Okay. The data set that we have imported that needs to be divided, that needs to be splitted into two parts that is test data set and train data set. Okay, fine. So to do this we will use this cross validation fold. Remember we have used the same option on the explorer and on the simple CLI just to split the input data set file into test data set and a train data set. Okay. Okay. The next task is to use this classifier. Now I will I am going to use the same classifier that we have used in the previous video that is on simple CLI. Okay. So I will select the tree classifier J48 classifier okay. and to this classifier I will give the input as test data set file and train data set file. Okay. To check the performance of a classifier, we, know, we need one more component from the evaluation folder that is classifier's performance which generates the performance which calculates the performance of a classifier based on the correct classification and incorrect classification. We have seen this performance using confusion matrix in simple CLI. So what I do is I will connect this batch classifier that is the output of J48 classifier to this classifier performance evaluator just to evaluate its performance. And now to show the output I am going to use the text viewer component of visualization folder. So here I will connect the output of this classifier performance evaluator to the text viewer so that in the form of the text we can view this result. Okay. Yet we have not given the name to our ARFF loader. You can say the uh, it's I, iris or you can write the name of your choice. So I have changed the name of this ARFF loader to iris just for the sake of understanding purpose that is I am processing a iris data set 
on a J48 classifier using class assigner, cross validation fold maker just to split the data set into train data set and a trace data set. Then I have used the classifier performance evaluator just to analyze the performance of a classifier to evaluate it with the different parameters like confusion matrix we have used and just to explore to display the output to view the output of a classifier we have used this visualizer called as text viewer fine so our knowledge flow classification model pictorial representation is now ready now it is time to run this knowledge flow environment so to run it you, you can click here on this run button before that let me introduce you the one more in window available on the knowledge flow environment just to see the status of your running here at the bottom of this screen there is one more sub window where there are two tabs available status and a log the status tab will show you the status of your running running this model whether it's fail run or whether any error is occurred the log tab is basically creates the log for your model okay fine by the time i hope you understood what is the knowledge flow environment okay now we'll try to run this model j48 using classifier j48 so i'll click on this play button and you can see a message is appeared on this status bar that is knowledge flow welcome to the Veka knowledge flow iris finished cross validation fold maker finish and we have used the j48 classifier and the parameters that we have used is hyphen c and hyphen m hyphen m is the argument which is which defines which allows the user to define the minimum number of instances so hyphen m2 this value 2 indicates the minimum number of instances okay fine and finally the classifier performance evaluator component and its status is finished now to see the result we can click left on this text viewer click on show results and a new window will appear here you can see the output of this classification and there is no big difference in the output environment of knowledge flow as well as simple CLI and Explorer. These are the alternatives of each other. Either user has the user has the liberty to either use the Explorer application or knowledge flow environment or simple CLI. It depends on the choice of the user. Okay, so Veka has offered us a different platform to process our data set. So this result shows that we have used the classifier J48 with the arguments hyphen C and hyphen M. The data set that we have used has the relation iris and this is the statistics of models performance. So the models uh, has the 96% accuracy though 144 instances out of 150 have been correctly classified whereas the model has 4% of error rate because 6 instances have been misclassified by the classifier and these are the kappa statistics of a classifier. So this is the details of accuracy by class. So if user want to explore the more detailed accuracy related parameters, so here you can see these are the detailed accuracy by class. So this is the true positive ratio for Setosa class. This is the false positive ratio. And here it is important to notice that false positive ratio for a Setosa class is 0. Whereas precision is 1, 0 0.98 is recall and 0 0.99 is F measure. The region of curve area for Setosa class is 0 0.99. And these are the, the second row and third row. These are the parameters, the different performance parameter values for the class Versicolor and Virginica. The last row indicates the weighted average of each column. So this 0 0.96 is a weighted average of true positive ratio for Setosa class, 
true positive ratio for vesicular class and true positive ratio for virginical class and same for the further columns. Well, the last section of this output window is very much familiar to us. This is the confusion matrix and in the previous video, uh, main iteration I have illustrated the you how to interpret the confusion matrix. So these are the, the, the columns of this confusion matrix, it represents the class whereas the rows of the confusion matrix, it represents the number of instances belong to the particular class. So the first row has 49 and 1, this 2, 49 plus 1 plus 0, this much of instances that is 50 instances. Out of this 50 instances, 49 have been correctly classified and 1 is misclassified. In second row, out of 50 versicular instances, 47 have been correctly classified and 3 have been misclassified. And in the last row, the two instances have been misclassified. They are actually a virginica instances, but classified as a versicular instances by the classifier. And the last entry that is 48 instances is correctly classified by the classifier. So this is the explanation about the output of knowledge flow environment. I hope you like this video. If any queries, you can subscribe my channel on YouTube. Thank you. Thank you very much.